Hello, and welcome back to Cthulhu Saves the World. And you might have noticed that our X and Y coordinates are slightly offset from where we ended the previous part. And the reason for that... Saving is a lot like surgery. Something is best avoided while flying about on a dragon. You'd better land first. Alright, so we didn't actually do anything uh, between parts. Uh, just uh, landing there. But before we continue, there's actually some stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the endgame dungeon right there. War quest or whatever. But there were some caves that we have to investigate. There was one out in the middle of the ocean. Let's just start with this one. Now before we before we go into this, there are a few other things that I want to do. Party. So, I'm pretty sure that uh, Ember is going to be the last party member. So now I want to see what all of the combo skills are. So let's do Dakre first, because I, I don't think I've checked him. I know every combination up to pause, but with Dakre and Ember I don't. So we'll start with Dakre, and then we'll put Umi and Sharp. What have we got here? Soulcaster Cave. 15 fights, okay. Hopefully, Dakre is uh, going to be helpful here. Enjoy his presence while it lasts, because I'm sure I will be dumping him off as soon as I'm done doing what I'm doing here. Earth Skeleton and Mega Ghoul. Now with more Ur. Hasn't had a good meal in years. Okay, these stats seem pretty high. Is this like super late game type stuff? Like we have to grind a whole bunch or are we going to be okay here? I don't know. Let's find out. Now uh, let's start by... Alright, uh, Dark Strike is, is stronger but... I don't I don't think it's a good idea against undead. So we're going to flame strike a ghoul. Hold up. Unite. Okay, yin yin and yang. Holy plus 50%, dark plus 50%. Okay. That's interesting. I'm not going to use it. <laughs> But, but I've looked at it now. But yes, Flame Strike the Ghoul. What are your other Unite abilities here? With Umi, we have Mystic Rain. Oh, plus 5 MP per turn on all allies. That's... I mean, MP hasn't been an issue. Despite my obsessing over it this entire playthrough, it has yet to actually be an issue at any point during the game. And with Sharp, we have Honor. Which makes Sharp a lot tougher. Hmm. Okay. Nifty. Uh, regen all for 66. Heal all for 132. Blind a group. Seal a group. Full heal. Uh, shield him. Speed him. Makes everybody faster. Buff one ally. You know what? Let's just strength him on Cthulhu. Well, no, we know regen lasts, persists through death, so we're going to do a regen here. Uh, tech. Yeah, your damage isn't that good. Uh, we do have escape with her, so if it turns out that these things are way too strong, we can always try that. Uh, Thor's Call, we're going to make yourself a lot better. Alright. Yeah, we can hit pretty hard. That's probably your best bet. We're sharpening first. Who's the seventh stack ray? Uh, okay. Yeah, these hit pretty hard. <laughs> wow, Dak ray, that speed. So, so fast. I guess you are an old man.
but yes, this does not uh, does not fill me with confidence. Considering how little damage we did in that first round and how much damage we took, and we got really lucky that nobody was actually knocked out. Alright. Oh, flame strike. Heal all. Stun Strike should be able to finish this one off. Pierce. I think we need, we need to finish something off. So we'll do a sword dance. Oh, Sharp is down, okay. I mean, we can. Hmm. This is telling me that we're not actually ready for this. Yeah, that didn't count as one of our battles. Okay. Interesting. So, party. Living with Doc Grape, we're gonna put October and pause. Hmm. I probably could do this if I was paying really close attention to what I was doing. But I don't want to do this with Doc Ray in the party, so we're just going to get in a few random fights here. Uh, okay, we fought these before. That They're not, they're not too bad. Alright, what have we got here? Alright, I don't need to check for you. So we'll just flame strike and kill one of these. Actually, no, no, tentacles won't do it. Okay, flame strike, kill one. Banish evil with October. Okay, that's a pretty heavy nuke and also better against undead. Okay, that's cool. Vaccination. Here's ailments and ailment immunity to everybody. Hmm. I mean, Dakre has some cool abilities. It's just that. This game really makes healing it's not worth doing. Alright, well, we'll use Banish Evil, I guess. Oh. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, I forgot that Pause has his random targets weapon. Ooh, October leveled up. Magic and speed, yes please. Alright, uh, party. Dakre, this is gonna be it for you. Umi and Ember. Okay. Why am I doing it this way? <laughs> I can just start a fight anytime I want. Uh, Zlazik. Or whatever, and deep one, okay. This is new. The distant relative of the demon bat. Alright. So here, I guess we're going to. Uh, flame, wait, flame strike? Yeah, you do enough damage to just kill one of these outright, I think. Try it. Heaven and Hell. Uh, root. Produces, resists the holy and dark. Wait, target self. That's a confusing tooltip. Reading it literally, it makes me weaker if I use this ability. Or does this help me? Is Ember immune to healing normally, and this makes him not resist holy anymore? I don't know. I don't know what the point of that is. Here, we'll have blind bats, because that'll be funny.
Okay, it resisted because it was already dead. It's, uh, some some interesting things going on there. Flame strike. Uh, just attack. Like honestly, starfish. Okay. Party. Well, back right. It was uh, it was fun to have you while it lasted. We are now done. Oh, I didn't check Ember and Umi. That was a mistake, an oversight on my part. Because I'm gonna have to. Wait, no, I don't have to check. Uh, I don't have to check him with Dakre though, so that's fine. It's fine. We can just go here. Okay. Uh, what is? Berserk. Forgot that you had that. But does that upgrade your guard? That's oh wait, never mind, I'm I'm on the wrong menu. Uh okay. Unite, we have Rampage. Targets random enemies and does a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Fifty-six poison damage. Like, why? Why even bother? Wait. Does Ember not have a combo with Umi? Apparently not. Slayer. On sharp. Plus 100% versus dragon. Oh, wow. Okay, so 4500 or 9000 damage against a dragon. That's uh, pretty nice. attack at this point. Yeah. So that's weird that Ember and Umi don't have a combo together. Okay, Ember... October and pause? And this'll be... this'll be the last... the last exploratory fight I have to do like this. And then... We'll do a Dark Strike this time. Then we should be good. Okay, Hellfire with October. Targets all enemies for a lot of damage. Okay, great and small. Ember hits hits up, pause strength up. Okay, decent buff. Oh wow, Ember does not have a lot of MP. Okay, so looking at this, October's damage seems to be falling off, actually. I might not be running her anymore, especially if I'm doing a challenge dungeon. Oh, they took out Cthulhu. I was gonna. I was going to 
teleport back to town to rest to get MP back, but that's that's totally unnecessary. Okay, so what party do I want? Thulu for sure. Uh, Mimi's alright, but she needs a turn to buff herself. I think we'll go with Sharp. Sharp's damage is pretty good. Oz and Ember. We'll try... We'll try this combination. Okay. Strike wouldn't be bad. You can kill one of the ghouls pretty quick. They hit really hard. Pierce is fine. Uh, hit four times. Or if we go magic, I don't think. I do have regen all. Or not that much. We'll just attack. Breath, okay. Cthulhu's down. And Cthulhu and Sharp do both have that taunt effect on them. Flame Breath, that didn't kill anything? Oh dear. Yeah, you're both really weak, but. We use a potion on Cthulhu. And. You know what? We're just gonna attack. Oh, wow. These things are faster than Sharp? Ah, uh, this is really bad. Yep. Uh, control to retry, okay. Hmm. Defense up temporarily taunts enemies. I mean, you do do big amounts of damage, but... Maybe we'll try that. Sharpen. We'll do a buff for a turn. I don't think regen all is worth doing, but actually your damage is not that good. I should probably have had October or Umi instead of pause. Okay. Yeah, because we don't want we don't want to be doing random damage. That's pointless. It could make them insane. I just I don't know if that would be a good thing. I have a feeling it might not be. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, Cthulhu is taking like half damage, but Cthulhu still died in one round. Okay. You're almost down. Should I just attack you? I should probably just attack you. You're gonna potion Cthulhu. Sharp's still 
Slow goes down, but we manage to kill the ghoul and do quite a bit of damage to everybody else. Okay. Um... Dark Strike. Potion on Sharp. Flame Breath. Okay. Yeah, so they do resist darkness. Strike. Pierce. Heal Ember. Not that it's gonna matter. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well everybody's down except for pause. This is this is just wonderful. Wait. Oh no, I uh. Okay, protect. Hmm. You know what? We're just gonna use Slayer. And... Okay, one skeleton down. First skeleton is paralyzed with fear, doesn't act this town. Okay, again. We're just gonna use Slayer again, and we're just gonna take him off one at a time with the Slayers. I wonder if I lose the potions between battles when I use a reset. Uh, Sharp is down, never mind, no Unite. Okay, that's the disadvantage of trying the Unite strat. Heck, Dark Strike is not sufficient to take one of you out. Flame Strike isn't either. Okay, we're gonna potion sharp. Zulu's down, sharp's down, pause is down. Uh, we did a bunch of damage. Two of them are paralyzed, but you're not gonna survive. Yeah. Is there no retreat option? Do I have to just like start this whole episode over again? I guess there's no retreat option if I don't have... Well, it's not like I actually accomplished anything. I was just testing out certain things. So I guess... I guess we'll do this. We'll not do that cave. That's that's what we're coming... we've decided here. Not doing that cave. There was there were two others, right? That I didn't have access I hadn't accessed before. Yeah, this one was new. Alright, uh party. Who do we want? We want Ember honestly I'm not that impressed with Ember. Um Ember does okay damage, but there's just so few options. I don't know. It's like, okay single target, but no good AoE type stuff. October's damage is pretty low though, compared to some of the other guys. Uh, let me... Let me sharp October? I mean, we'll try this and see what happens. Uh, Astral Cave, okay. 15 fights again. Let's try the original gang here. Dragon, Negane, and whatever those things are. Eats Dragon Slayers for breakfast. Pure evil. Beware of undead hero- uh, bane of undead heroes everywhere. Alright. Hmm. 
Berserk doesn't seem that good. Okay, well, Flame Strike and Executioner. Stun Strike the same Executioner, that should take it out. So 700 or 700 for one group. Uh, we'll do that. Dragon hits hard as expected. Okay, the Neganes aren't that bad. As long as October can survive the round. Protect. Heal Cthulhu. Wind Strike. Tornado. Flame Breath. Oh dear. Okay, well there's just one of them left. Potion on Umi. Sword Dance. Potion on <laughs> Okay, who's our best bet here? Are you just gonna do that every single round? Okay, so the dragon was scary. Nothing else really is. So I guess the other option then is just to nuke down the dragon as hard as possible. Siren's Call, we'll stun it for the first round. A Pierce would do Ignoring Defense. Magic. Uh, we're still going to do the tornado here. Uh, Cthulhu's almost down. Oh, decisive chop. Okay, the executioners can do quite a bit of damage as well. That's not surprising, I suppose. Heck, uh, we're going to do another dark strike on the dragon. That should kill it. Use a potion on Cthulhu. I will use a heal on Cthulhu. Do you actually have a heal? Wind Strike. Tornado. Oh, they took out October. That's really bad. Because now this turn I have to use two potions, and then I'm just going to take a whole bunch of hits. I mean, no, I need two hits to kill those. Okay, we're going to use two potions. And that did us no good at all. Okay. Because we need Cthulhu to survive. We need, we need to do two potions and have Cthulhu survive. Uh, this is pointless. Okay. Okay, we'll retry it again. So it occurs to me then that these all appear to be like 
post-game challenge dungeon type stuff. Um, I guess I don't really have to do them. Okay, you know what, we're just going to do a stun strike instead. Dragon is stunned, we got lucky. Oh, but we didn't we didn't curse it, so we didn't do as much damage. Okay. to survive with October. That was the important thing there. This turn, uh, we just do a double potion. This turn, we just do a double potion. Yeah. Siren's Call, we'll knock out one of those. Tech. Pierce. Uh, flame strike, just attack, and lightning. Okay, we survived a fight in one of these caves. Uh, it's a lot of money, it's a lot of experience. October, right, she can be a little bit faster. So what this is telling me is that this is all post-game type stuff that I shouldn't be doing right now. Maybe I'm supposed to finish the game first before I attempt these. I never did this one, did I? cave. No, I didn't. But this one was accessible the whole time. So it's a more reasonable one to start with. So maybe this is the one that we'll go, we'll go for here. Uh, actually. Miskatonia. Let's go to our starting town. Oh, it's, it's, it's double the cost of what I thought it was. I was like, oh, I can afford the heroine dress. No, no, I cannot. I mean, it's not really any point in selling any of this stuff. Oh, zombie tunic's useless, that's right. half an hour. I'm going to push a little bit into the cave here just so that we can see what difficulty we're doing here. Um, I might actually just push through. We'll see. Aurora Oil. Sally. It's Gold Wisp. Okay. The True King of Statuedom. Loves romantic comedies. Gold in appearance alone. Yeah, these, these look much, much weaker than the stuff that I'm trying to do in those other two caves. Uh, 
Ah, this is almost overkill. And, uh, and honestly, this is almost as much experience as that other place anyway. <laughs> if, if I'm going to be grinding, I should just do it here. Even once I've finished all of the fights, I can continue fighting. I just don't get random encounters anymore. So that's something to consider. Okay, Brute wants to be the hero of our next game. Hmm. Wait, how much damage do you just do with your attack? 700? Almost 800. Yeah, that should be enough, right? And then tornado. Okay, I know that the the wisps are doing something that's cutting something in half, so I should be not rushing through as much. A feeling that would be a dead end. All right. Um, Pierce, sure. Although I think that's more mana, so it's technically a waste, but whatever. Uh, oops. 425, huh? Fireball won't do it. Uh, it feels a little bit wasteful, but I'll turn it over anyway. Dazzle. Agility drops in half. Okay, that's what that is. It would be nice to have a little bit more damage on Umi so she can one-shot the Sallies, but... Yeah, this is pretty easy experience compared to the other thing. Glass Hilt. Alright, sharp. We're at 170, 180, and more speed. Yes, please. Okay. A warlock? Great juggler, okay. Well. Oh, you don't do enough damage. Uh, that's fine, we'll just do that. And have you wind strike the warlock, and then you can use lightning at the end. Alright. Oh, that was hardly any experience at all. Is it the gold wisps that are inflating the experience? That'd be funny. Are they just like bags of experience? Let's do some lightning. Roar, enemies become stronger. Inferno, AoE, okay. You should be good. Yeah, okay, it's those gold wisps uh, that are making this profitable. We've got a radiant dress. Really? 80, 80 magic, 60 agility, 120 armors, max MP up. Currently using 
Oh, I'm currently using the swim dress, okay. You know, water ice plus isn't important, so yeah, it's better. Oh, yes please. Yep, that's where all the money is. It's the best encounter in the game. <laughs> Alright, plus stats. Strength and magic or just magic? We'll take strength and magic. Hmm. Physical defense, I suppose, and more health. Upgrade fireball? Or learn a new skill? Hmm. Well, having a really high level fireball that does more damage to everything all the time, that would be good. However, Rain of Fire, it's slightly less, but it's an AoE that hits every single round. Ah, uh, I think we take Rain of Fire. Because we just have to cast it once, and if the battle takes more than two turns, it's better. So, we'll do that. Uh, strength or speed, we'll take strength. Strength or magic? Uh, we'll take magic. We explored this whole place. Yeah, because that's just a loop. We'll try the Rain of Fire and see how, how effective this is. Tangle, okay. Oh, never mind. Apparently I was getting a little bit too cocky here. Um, yeah, it's not going to matter anyway. I'm pretty sure we've actually explored this whole place, but we didn't get a boss, which is weird. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I should just spam out six battles really fast and then run around without worrying about it. Oh, Blaze Master. Two swords for twice the fun. Stun Strike. Wind Strike. And Lightning. Because at this point we're just heading back to the, the entrance, I'm pretty sure. Well, once we get back to the entrance... I will just get all these fights done, and then I'll do one last run of the place.
Let's see if Ice Strike is a better matchup. Nope. Hmm. Oh, a new ability for Ember. Okay. Aerial Assault. Do I want to target everybody for 730 or one group for 1000? Uh, we already have a decent Fire Breath. I think we'll take one group for 1000. Uh, not that I'm probably going to be using them again, but... Oh, five Brutes. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I use up MP or not. Alright, last fight. Stun Strike. Pierce ignores defense. That might be the best option here. Battles here. Okay, so we're gonna do one more, one more thorough examination of this place. Uh, just following the left hand rule all the way through. I think there's that one area that has a loop. Glass Hilt. Okay. Oh, this place goes on quite a ways, actually. But... Oh, there's multiple levels even. Okay, yeah, no, I haven't. I did consider that. I saw Ice Cave 1, but I wasn't sure... I wasn't sure if the Ice Cave... If, like, the other places that only had a single level... Also did the... The one at the end? If that's just a thing that everything does or not. Okay, well, there's that chest. I'm going to continue with this, because we are finding good loot here. No, we're going just left hand roll, left hand roll. Don't do anything creative. Pretty sure this is heading back to the entrance. Yep, I recognize it. Okay, so we're gonna continue this way again. We're gonna do the left hand rule again until we get to the stairs. I guess that means that we're not going to have any fights at all on the second level. Not that this game seems to have different fights per level, they also always seem to just do the same thing. Alright. That's, yeah, that's a loop coming around. Alright. Battles left none.
Curse Sword. Currently using Flame Sword, 220, 80, 50. Do 40 enemies are always insane. Um. And that would increase our damage quite a bit. We're giving up a lot of speed for that, though, and a little bit of defense. Give it a try. Four potions, okay. I mean, I, I use those now. Got to the point in the game where I'm finally having to use my potions. This place is really big. It just feels like it's way bigger than it needs to be. Got a giant whip. As you pull your treasure out of the cave, the guardian of the ice cave appears. The dreaded fallen angel. Which is insane. Dreams of paradise lost. Okay, well... Do the girl power off the bat and sharpen. We'll see what this thing does. Just an attack. Okay. Alright, I should have done curse on the first round. That's fine. You're gonna heal yourself. Sword dance. Fire. Hurt all. Okay. That actually hits for a lot. Uh, not a whole lot of damage on that. Flame strike again. Uh, you're going to stun it. Magic Void. We could, we could poison or we could just go for the, the damage, 2000. Yeah, and that should do it. Death Blow. Stun. Sword Dance. And lightning. Level up. MP after victory or plus 40 magic. Uh, I'll take the MP after victory because... No, I won't because the MP after victory is useless. Even if the 40 magic is also useless, I'll still... I don't know. Keep fighting or heal all. Combo reset. Eh. Targets all allies. Ultimate heal combo reset once per battle. What? I guess keep fighting. Maybe this is a revive as well. We'll take that. And equip. October. Using a snake whip. 50, 50, 100. Hit plus 1. 90, 90, 180. Targets all enemies. Okay. Oh, this ended up being a really long part, although I guess it was half an hour of me failing at the beginning and then a relatively quick romp through this place. 
Um, we're just gonna continue the left hand rule on the way out in case there's another chest. But I think we've probably found everything. We found two chests on this level, two chests on the previous level. And then the boss for a third chest on this level. Yeah, okay, that would have gotten us to there. So yeah, we're we're pretty much done. brings us back to the stairs. So, uh, that'll do it for this part. So we cleared one of the three caves, we checked out the other two, they're both really dangerous. I guess we'll actually uh, continue with the, the main quest and go where we're supposed to in the next part. Yeah, this is the one. Yep, so I will I will see you then.